Welcome to my channel, question number 3040, upward of the Ghana teacher line sexual examination, the numeracy aspect of the NTC line sexual exam. We are on course. So let's take the question 39. A company has 200 employees, 39 of 39 percent of them work in the machine room and 32 percent are engaged in distribution of goods so how many of the employees are engaged in the other duties apart from these two so apart from those working in the machine room and distribution how many of the workers we are looking for how many employees not percentage so here we already know the percentage of those in the machine room as 39, those in distribution as 32. We don't know their number, the amount of people or how many people that are there. So for us to be able to find the remaining, we can also find the percentage of those working in other places. Then we use that percentage on 200 or better still, you can find 39% of 200 and know the people who are working in the machine room. Find 32% of 200 to know how many of them are working in distribution. So those working in machine room plus those working in distribution minus 200 give us the remaining people in the workshop or in the company. It's good. So I'm going to take this one. I know very well that those who are working in other uh, aspects or duties is going to be 100% with the original minus 39 plus 32, the percentage, the hourly percentages. I'm trying to find the remaining percentage that will be in other duties. We know this is going to be 60, 71. So I'll be having 100 minus 71, which will give us what? 29, right? So it means 29% of the workers are in engaged in other duties. So how do we find the people, the employees? We know this is 29% of the workers in the company. So that simply means 29 over 100 times the 200 employees. And we know that this is going to cancel this. So 2 will now multiply 29, 40, so we have 58 people or 58 employees are working in other duties of the company. So this is one way to get the answer. You can also find 39% of 200, 32% of 200, add the 2 and subtract it from the 200. You will still get your 58 people being working in that company all right so 600 copies of a piece of book have to be packed into boxes each box can hold 15 of the books so which one of the following operations could be used to find the number of boxes needed so you can see that I take a box so 600 copies of a book uh, have to be packed into a box. So each box can hold 15. So if you take a box, 15 is inside. Another box, 15, 15, 15. So we'll be packing 15 in them until all the 600 copies are over. So what are you doing? You are, are you adding the 15, 15 to get the 600 or you will be able to divide the 600 copies among uh 15 meaning 15 is per box so if i divide if i get 10 meaning 15 15 15 times 10 giving me my 600 copies so let's see you are adding 15 to uh 600 that will only increase the copies but it won't give you the number of boxes you are going to use divide 600 by 15 if you divide 600 by 15 getting something like 400 it means 400 boxes is required to pack the 600 boxes, uh, copies of the books, right? If you multiply 
you are going to increase the copies. You will not know the number of boxes you are losing. If you subtract, this is also definitely won't give you any idea of the number of boxes. So the operation needed here is division. Divide the books among per copy, meaning 15 per box. Then you know number of boxes that will be required for that calculation. Question number 41. So a boy used to take of his weekly savings to buy a textbook. If he realized that he has 10 Ghana CDs left, how much was the weekly savings? Good. So what we are going to do is that we know that to take is 2 out of 3, right? So we can solve this question in two ways. Now, if to take of the weekly savings, which we are not aware of, so we can say that, let me begin with this, let X be the savings, right? X is a savings. So if he is using to take of this savings, meaning to take times what? Uh, the x give us the amount he used on uh, buying textbooks, right? Good. Now, after buying the textbook, he still have 10 Ghana City left. So, if you add what he used for the textbooks and what is left, all the money must equal to the savings. So if I have a certain money in my hand and I use to tell of it to buy books and I'm still left to be, the two must add to give me my total money. So in this case, I have a fraction here with an equation. So I'll multiply through by the LCM, meaning 3 times 2 third x plus 3 times 10, 30, 3 times this will be 3x, right? Believe me, this will cancel this. I'll be left with 2x plus 30 equals to 3x. Under algebraic expression, this 2x will be subtracted from both sides. So minus 2x minus 2x. This will cancel. So we have 30 equals to only x. So the only x is what we are looking for, the savings. So therefore, the savings or the weekly savings is going to be 30 Ghana cities. That's the weekly savings it has. So that's one way of getting the answer. Or we can use the fractional approach using the ratio and proportion. As in, if I am having to third of the money on books, how much do you think is left? The, the fraction of money left is going to be 1 minus 2 third. If I want to find, because total fraction is always 1. So if I subtract what I spend on book, I'll be left with the fraction that is left. And that is going to give rise to, you know, when you are subtracting any fraction from 1, only look for a number you add to 2 to give you 3. That number is what? 1. That becomes your numerator. That is 1 out of what? 3. So this is what is left as a fraction. And this is corresponding to the 10 Ghana cities. So I'll be saying that if one third equals to 10 Ghana cities, I am looking for the savings, then the one, which is the total fraction, one total fraction equals the total money saved from the weekend. So that is going to be one. So if this is equals to 10, then I expect one to be more. So if more, less divide. So it means that I'll be having 1 divided by 1 out of 3 times 10. Doing this double division, this your denominator goes up to multiply the 1. 1 times 3 divided by 3 will still be 3. 3 times 10 will still give you what? 30 Ghana cities. So it means you still get 30 Ghana cities if you use fraction with proportion. You get the same answer. Question 42. Some pages in a book on a bookshelf are missing so that the page 21 is now followed immediately by the page 42. How many pages are missing? So it means that the page 21 is present. So we are not missing the 21. We are missing 22. Then 
we are also having what 43 present meaning 42 is also missing so we are only looking out for the interval the number of the numeral between 21 and what 43 so that will simply mean 43 minus 21 will give us 2 2 so the number of pages missing from this book will just be 22 pages because 21 page is present 43 page is also available question 43 11 more than two times Jonas age is equals to 59 this is a simple linear equation and a web problem so let y be Jonas age so if you are saying what two times Jonas age it means two times y we are saying 11 more if you are having 11 more meaning we are adding 11 years to the age of what Jonah so 11 age 11 years to this then they said the result is equals to 59 so equals to 59 simple linear equation subtract 11 from both sides you know this will cancel we have 2y equals to if you subtract this you will having 48 so i believe i can cancel my coefficient by dividing y is going to be 24 years old will be the age of jonah simple word problem i believe this is easy to get thank you for watching like share and comment don't forget to subscribe if you are new Bye-bye.